Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Golf Chat Show Live. Um, as you now know, we have the news in the UK, if you're watching the UK, that we are allowed to play golf as of tomorrow. Now, for that, we need to be in some good shape. Now, if you've not been doing the fitness stuff, which James has been prescribing to you for the last three weeks, well, you've got one night to do it. Um, welcome to the show, James. How are you? I'm all right, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last night. Now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. This is what people will be doing. It'll be like, right, how can I crash all these exercises in ready for tomorrow? Mate, you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so first question, um, Craig Sharp asked a question last week about uh, shoulder mobility and is there anything that he can build into his routine um, before he goes out to play? Yeah, obviously the best answer would that be is you'd be you'd probably best off working it all week before you go out to play. But if that's not if that's not an option and you literally want to get yourself a bit more warmed up, especially a shoulder before you game, absolutely. I mean I don't I don't know left, right, I don't know what position he's got. Um but if, if you think about the shoulders, all the shoulders need to do is hold themselves. Does that make sense? Yeah. They don't actually passively work in a golf swing. They're just a product of your body. So if, if, if his shoulder's breaking down, then that's not a great start, is it? So, but there definitely will be something to maybe release it or ease it up just to give him some help as he's going into his round of golf. If he wants to get in touch and tell me what his shoulder injury is, then I'll, I'll gladly um, put him in the right direction. Perfect. Because it's hard for you to guess to prescribe something so specific like that, isn't it? Because you don't know if it's lead shoulder, trail shoulder, you don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that shoulder's breaking down, but obviously if, if, he's, if he sends me some more info, then I, I will pick it up and I will be able to help him. Absolutely. So before we get into exercises today, and it's, it's worth pointing out, everybody that's watching, you don't have to have any equipment to do these exercises. Um, you can do them from home and there is a host of exercises that will be up on JG Collab and all the information will be down below. Um, where you can get plans to help improve your goal from home during lockdown and even actually after lockdown because if people are keen on the gym, they're probably not going to be, they're probably one of the last things to open, aren't they? Yeah, I think they will be. I think they, I've, I've got in my head August time, gyms. Yeah. But um, all the goal stuff that we do, especially in season stuff, which is where we're in now. Yeah. I mean, would you want to start, if you've not done much physical, would you want to start bashing weights out? now? you probably wouldn't anyway, would you? Was was the movement and the positions and the patterns that we need in the golf swing are all stuff using our own body. So you don't, you, literally, I've got a couple of resistance band, foam roller, fit ball, 25 quid the lot, and that will take care of me all summer. Sure. And that's so what we put the website on. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic, guys. Um, it, it's really easy to find your exercises as well. Um, I will be getting sent a, a little screencast of how you can find the exercises, and that will be going up on my Instagram, so it'll be dead easy for you to navigate around the site. Um, now, before we get into the exercises for today, what do you think about the open golf courses? Is it the right decision? Because everybody watching this now is going to want to know what our opinion is on this. Well, it, it is the right decision, you'd say, in paper. I mean, it's safer than going to... a supermarket it's safer than going anywhere else where you lots of people are but only if people behave to the right things i mean i've, I've spoke to yourself this afternoon i spoke to three or four pros today uh who i've been in touch we've done some training with and they've all tried to book on their golf courses and they can't you can uh, the traffic these golf courses much have a phone calls and people after a couple of days they still can't ring are they going to start pitching up on the golf course Human nature probably says yes, doesn't it? Yeah, and I watched something actually, um, because when we go to the supermarket in the minute, we're quite vigilant because nine times out of ten, we're not going to see anybody we know. We're going to go in, go out. Whereas we go to a golf club, which we think is a safe environment, and people we know, we might actually get close to them without even realising. Yeah, yeah, uh, and you, in I think a lot in sport. I mean, I bumped into a, a, a few people while on lockdown, and. Even one, you just forget the situation because you're so used to shaking people's hands or giving them a love out where as soon as you go into that comfortable environment, a golf course, it's going to be hard sometimes to, if someone came to shake my hand, this is me privately, personally, I would shake it. And then I'd think, oh, what have I done there? Because yeah, that's yeah. just, so it is going to be hard because like you said, you're dealing with people that you know now. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it, honestly, if everyone does the right thing and does the right 
behaves in the right way, then I do think it's the right thing. The big word is if, isn't it? Like, my dad tried yeah. to get tea time for you tomorrow. Can't yes. get it for Friday. Like, no. it's and crazy. people people will, especially people paying membership fees, they will start getting an iron and people will just start pitching up or breaking rules, going out on a three ball, meeting on a different hole. It will happen. 100%. And yeah. It'll be absolutely carnage. Yeah. Okay, so um, we spoke about this last week, actually. How important is the body in the golf swing? And we basically said... Um, for you to swing it at your best, you need to have the body in the best shape, don't you? Yeah, I, I wouldn't even say the best shape. I would. Or your I would, best shape, as in like. Yeah, yeah and you you have to realize what movements, um, what restrictions, what patterns are needed. Yeah, for your best swing, it's not a case of the shape that you're in. It's it's um, it's the movements that you can produce with your body that will help you with your golf swing. Yeah. Okay. So, so what's number one for us today? What, what, what are we going to be working on? Number third, our first row. Right. So we've got some high knee walks. Now, all the high knee walk is basically, as it sounds, I'm just going to walk, walking one leg up, and then swap the other leg. Sounds simple enough. If you was to get up and do this now, you'd be amazed how many people go and change, move the shoulders because if you think about a high knee walk it's <laughs> it's it's transferring move transferring to my left and right my right to my left like a golf swing is if i'm good at it i can do that well i'll show you when i'm doing it i can keep these still because my core's strong my legs are strong so my shoulders stay in line if i'm bad at it when i'm transferring weight i will get a lot of this and if you think about that in a golf swing transferring left to right and you can't hold your shoulder plane that's that's where swing faults and bad shots will come in. So how would you do that? Is it is it a case of trying to keep the upper half as quiet as possible but still raising the yeah. leg? Of course. Do you want me to do one now? Yeah, do, give us a quick demo, yeah. Right, I ain't got much much room. So if I start. You okay there? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Right, okay. So as I'm walking, I won't do any walking ones, I'll just do standing still ones. So I'm just up and up. Now you can see how easy it is to, to move. Yeah, yeah. So ideally I'd like a 15, 20 yard uh, stretch of uh, room, grass, whatever. And I'd literally just be walking like so. I'm starting on my heel and then coming up to my toe. So my glutes are engaged, my legs, my core, and I'm just keeping nice and still. And obviously I'm, I'm working on the hips as well, trying to get more clearance. I mean, if you think about someone with a good conditioned hip flexor, the knee would be coming up to here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so up. See that wonky one? That was a slice. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that went 30 yards right, that second one out. So, that's yeah. Your, that's your shot all day, then. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, someone, said to, um, someone said on your show last week, how, how far does James hit it? And yeah, I, I'm I like saying, no, I, I hit it 400 yards, but sadly <laughs> it goes across. <laughs> um, it's more so like yeah, high knee walks. If you have a look at the, um, on the website, you'll see them obviously in a lot of better format than me in my front room. And honestly, they'll tell you a lot about uh, how you transfer weight and how strong you are. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've done them with you. And my, my fault is straight away to go, like this. Yeah, so one way. It is hard, and then you had weight, you can yeah. progress. Yeah. So we've got a question for you, for you Jam. Um, Stephen Beaumont said, um, would you recommend doing stretches and loosening up before going to the golf course? Now, usually you would do them um, at the course in the locker room, but with restrictions in place, what would you recommend? Oh, it depends really on how long is your um, journey to the golf course. Yeah. I mean, most people aren't traveling more than 15, 20 minutes, are they? It's the local golf club. Yeah, exactly. So just, just, just doing it at home. And I think what comes into, into my head then is not just stretching, it's preparation, isn't it? Yeah. it, it if I'm preparing for um, a sporting event, a round of golf, a game of football, whatever, it, it, if I, I... I know from past experience uh, from playing golf, if I wake up an hour earlier and I work on my body... 
uh, and I, I wake up, have a cup of tea, I'm doing all my stretches, I'm, I'm switching on to my round of golf. When you get to that golf course, you're a step ahead of everyone else who's rushing around. So, yeah, but I would definitely like just do it at home. And then just spending 10, 15 minutes so getting up a little bit earlier, doing, do, doing these exercises we're saying right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what's number two for us? Uh, right, so hip thrust. Dead simple, a uh, bit of strength and a, a bit of power in there. Um, we're really trying to work the glutes, okay, your bum cheeks. Um, there might be a lot, a lot of cases of a bit of hamstring um, use. That's okay because the hamstrings are working, but the more we can use the glutes, the better because they're a lot more powerful than the hamstring. Okay, so I'll just show you. I might need to go flat on this, Al. Yeah, no worries. Do we got it? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, perfect. You see me there? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So I start off, I've got my feet nice and straight. Yeah? My yeah. knees and ankles are all in line. I'm not like this. Nice and straight. All my lower back is on the floor. I've got no gaps. You'd be amazed how a lot of people find that difficult. Yeah, I find that sometimes I feel like my like my mid spine goes a little bit like that and then goes down. So I've got like a gap. Yeah. We've all got we've all got different spine curvatures, haven't we? But in uh, in a golf swing, when it becomes an issue when one gets too exaggerated, I've got an S posture, so my back wants to go like this. Okay. And cur so what I do is I just sit up from the top like that. If I was to lean back, that goes gap in there. Okay. Yeah. So my feet are nice and straight. I'm going to sit up a little bit to help me with that. And I'm going to really feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure through my feet. Get that feeling of the heels are down and I'm pushing through there. And all I'm going to do is just push up and then squeeze my bum at the top. Okay, I'm going to come down really slow. And the feet pressure is so important, Alex. If you can engage the floor like in a powerful goal swing, you've got more chance of engaging these glutes. Okay, are you seeing that through your heels or your toes there, Jack? Where are you I'm, doing that? That my, I'm doing that through my through my heels as a starter, but then progressively my whole foot takes over. Okay. Push, hold at the top. Now, I like to use my hands in front as my mirror. So if I put my hands up and push, if my, if my head stays between my hands, I know I've pretty much stayed still. Mm -hmm. If I push and I move... Yeah. I can, t I can, I've got a little indication if I'm moving off point. Um, start simple. If you, just, if you're just quite um, a beginner level, then you just want to start the basics. Just literally, just take your bum off the floor, and then back down. Okay. To advance that, obviously increase the range of movement. You can increase your speed, and you can add resistance. To add resistance, I could have a weight here, and I could drive, hold, control, down. Drive hold. Now that's all my bum there. Mm. But my advice is don't look for that super range of movement. If you feel a lot of hamstring, maybe some back, literally just focus on can we just lift that hip off the floor and feel a little bit of bum action? Okay. And then would you, would you, how many reps would you say? Progress it from maybe five to 10, 12? How, how many are you thinking on that? I would do. <laughs> it's funny one reps and sets because. I could meet 10 people and all 10 people were on different reps and different sets. Yeah, sure. Um, sure. You've got to be looking around 12 or 15 reps. Um, but if you was struggling after three or four, I'd get 15 out of my head and I'll really focus on six. Okay, all, all, all the web, the website, what's on there is we've, we've got beginner packages, advanced, um, tour pro level, We've got it all there, so you'll always be covered what level you're coming in at. Cool. And I guess, like you said before, we're not talking like that. That may not be like what age you are either, is it? It, it could be you could be actually be uh, in an old age category, but actually have really good goal fitness, so you could be like advanced to beginner, uh, advanced to the beginner. I have seventeen, eighteen year old lads played Cheshire golf, England golf, and you'd be amazed how bad they are at that. It, it, there is, there is no, it's insane, really. There, there is, you cannot stereotype one guy who comes, one um, man or woman that comes through the door. You cannot say what they're going to be just off looking at them. 
it's no. it's bizarre. Um, so so yeah, that's of all ages, all abilities. Um, it's a great exercise. That. Okay, number three. What are we do now? Okay, we're just going to work the T spine. Now the T spine, uh, the thoracic spine is is the middle bit of your back. It's where we find the most rotation in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, it, it's built for rotation, whereas the lower back isn't. Okay, so that's where you, you see as it, if the lower back is tight, so if the mid back is tight, the thoracic or the hips, then that's where you get more lower back. A lower back is supposed to just stay still like that. Yeah, it's marginal like rotation. If you have, if you turn and you struggle turning from your T-spine, you will turn your whole body. Does that make sense? Yeah. If I turn my whole body, then my lower back has then moved away and it's gone to the target. Whereas a, a good, strong, athletic golfer, the lower back would stay still and I would just turn this bit of the spine. So lower back issues are a lot secondary from tight T-spines or tight hips. So this is a great exercise to just warm that middle bit of the back up. All right? I know, just on that point, I remember when uh, oh. I start of, I might have been last winter, um, it feels like a long time ago now, we were doing, I remember doing squats with you, and we started off where I literally collapsed forwards, and we said it was like my, I think my T-span was really tight, so over the period of like, maybe I think it was like six, seven weeks, we went from like one being able to not squat a lot, to then being able right. to squat quite a lot. I think we got up to like 110k, which for me was, I was absolutely buzzing. Um, but also, like, I didn't lose any mobility with that. And I went from being like... You actually, you actually gained some. What, yeah. what that was? That photo. There's that photo that you took of yeah. me being like, I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. That is yeah. where I want to be. It, it wasn't so much tightness with you. It was, you, you had no uh, perception of how to recruit it. Hmm. So, like I, like I talked about last week, I said, all we do every day, all day, is go forwards. Yeah. We never we never go back and we never go sideways. I was asking you to do a deep squat. Now, a good deep squatter, they we, they sit back because that's where all our muscles are. But we've got no muscles here, have we? No. All our muscles are behind us. So the more we can use these, but you look at a gymnast, they, they don't look that strong. If you want to walk past one on the street, you won't bat an eyelid. But the reason they, they are so strong is they can get into the positions where they can maximise all the muscles they've got, basically. All right. Well, now I'm being like a gymnast. I'll sit the golf ball a little bit further, maybe. Hey, I, I'd love to see a gymnast. Yeah. Like, do some, I don't know, work with a swing coach for a year and just see how far they can hit it. I think they'd be lethal. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. If they've got, if they got like good hand-eye coordination, they can put the movement together, then... Yeah. That me, they got, they got probably got the, the best setups to bomb it. You'd think so. If they'd literally had some sporting, sporting ability and a golf coach got hold of them and said, listen, right, I'm just going to teach how to swing a club properly. On paper, they should be the they should be the longest drivers in the world. It should be all 10 of them, shouldn't it? 100%. So show us exercise number three. Okay, so this, this T-spine, Bill. Now, it's really simple, guys. Well, it is simple to look at. It's not simple to do. It hurts me. So, I've got my legs, knees, just just a little bit wider than shoulder width, not much. And I'm just going to pop my arm down there. Mm -hmm. Whatever side you're turning, I'd favour it just slightly to the other side. Okay. Yeah. So, I've got room to turn, yeah? If I'm too far in the middle, I'm not going to be able to turn. So, I'd I'm, I'm going to turn this side. So, I'm going to favour this side. My... Shoulder, uh, elbow and wrist are all in line. I'm going to put my hand on my left ear and I'm just going to open up. Uh, you can see how tight I am there. Now, I, I, well, I love doing these, actually. I've done these before with you. Before I go and play a round of golf, these are like my favourite exercise to do. And they're quite simple to do. and You, you get quite a lot of feedback from them um, and progression quite quickly. Um, one thing I would look for, I was... I did a live session with Tom Murray this morning and it's, it's, it's easy. Matthew Nixon's a bad one for it as well. If you, if you open up here, you can cheat by just going and getting rid of the shoulder. Okay. Which would be also a bit of a swing fault because then you're not connected, are you? No. So we're really going to look for turning through the rib cage and the T-spine. Even if it's short, guys, that doesn't matter. Try and 
find it hard because then you know it's right rather than just go in like that. Is this one of those exercises? I know, like, when, when you've stretched me off before, like, the first two or three, I'm, like, terrible. Then we, we do it again, rest, do it again. And you can see quite a big improvement quite quickly. Yeah. yeah, it releases fast if you do it properly. And the advice to that is don't fight the stretch. It, 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 if something's hard, don't try and go for massive range of movement because your body will fight it. Whereas if you just let the reps and the actual exercise take over slowly your body will slowly release and you will get in the position. But don't think, right, I'm going to have a massive big shot on the first day. I'm going to go on it's at 350. So I'm going to get up here. I promise you it will be wrong or you put strain on yourself and yeah. it just won't be of any, um, well, it just won't be productive at all. So number, we've got number four on our list. Right, good one. Um, for the chap who asked uh, the question for me, sorry, what was his name, Alex? It was, let me bring it up here, it was Craig Sharp. Right, for Craig, I mean, these, these are shoulder circles. These are easy to do. Um, like I said to you before, the golf swing is a lot to the side of us and above us. The only thing in front of us is is compressed anyway, so there's there's not actually mobility needed there, is there? No, apart so from this. Continuing. So this drill will just wakes up. I probably best off doing this. I'll do a few front on and a few side on. So I'm just lied down. I'll show you from side on in a minute. I've got my head on the floor, my hands past my ears. I'm just going to raise them up and do a nice circle. As I've done the circle, my hands have twisted. So my, my, I finished palms up. Palms up. These are the ones that, um, I mean, I remember doing these. Me and Tommy did these with you in the gym. And uh, are these the ones, oh, what's the goal for that? Oh, got his name. Uh, De- Danish player. Um, you know who I mean, don't you? I mean, I don't, I, I, John, John Ollison. Yeah. Ollison. I nearly said the guy that's got in trouble. <laughs> yeah. 8kgs. Honestly, guys, I do these. I've been doing these um, since you sent me the workouts. They're just hard with fresh air. Yeah, 8kgs and... Um... They weren't rushed. He was in complete control of them. He could have stayed there all week. So, what, how is that something that he's naturally good at, or is that he, something that he's trained? At some, po- at some point, he'd be naturally good at, but yeah. then he's yeah. then he's made that into a weapon, and he yeah, he, he's obviously started in his training. Gone. Yeah, I tried this, and he's gone. Jesus, and then he's just progressed it and progressed it, and then all of a sudden, he's got so much strength in his posterior chain, his back, and his shoulders. The, the, the hardest parts of the golf swing, yeah. the hold in the top of the backswing, must be so easy for him. Then you can bring in as much power as you want, can't you? Yeah. I'm just going to do one. This, I'm just going to do one this way so you can see more. The raise and then a nice big circle. And palms up. Good. Yeah, it's good sometimes. If you put parallel here, you can put maybe tin of beans of something just something that you can clear yeah start, start with a john west tuna and then maybe go to some <laughs> <laughs> chopped tomatoes <laughs> john west tuna. <laughs> um, and you could probably just look in about 10 or 12 reps of them and where will you be feeling that back of the shoulders is that where yeah we're the back? shoulders so now i've just done a couple there and all of a sudden i feel a lot more pinned back Cause, it's, basically, it's basically doing that, isn't it? Yeah, because a, a lot of people I, I come for me with a golf lesson, like they're so round shouldered, like oh. terrible. I mean, that probably comes yeah. from using a computer, working at a desk job. So, would they one of the driving the car? Would that be one of the things that would really help that? Yeah, you, if you if you weren't to do anything, we touched on it last week, and it it it, 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 it really annoys me that people do actually have warm ups. They do actually spend 10 minutes warming up the body, don't they? Yeah. And you've yeah. seen the old cliche warm-ups. They grab two clubs out of a the bag. They, they give it this. It. And you're thinking, well, you are actually, you do actually care about being in a better position. So invest a bit of time. Look into it because it's actually more important probably than going hitting 100 balls. Yeah. And invest a bit of time. 
speak to someone who knows what they're talking about. And, and even if you don't do any golf fitness ever, if you was to utilize that 10 minutes better, you're going to be in a, a better position for it. Mm, for sure. For sure. So exercise number five for us. Okay. Um, we're just going to stretch the lower back off. Okay. I mean, how many people have lower back issues? So um, just before you do it, do these exercises that all we're doing, like, they wouldn't take more than 20 minutes, would they? They're like 20 minute workouts, something like that, half an hour. Um, I mean, we, we can compress this into a, a quicker one for a warm up, but we're just in terms of like doing a fitness at home at the minute, trying to keep yourselves active. If, for you, if you're doing this at home properly, properly, and I mean really properly, you was taking your time, I would, um, I would say 40 minutes. Okay, if you literally okay. just wanted to loosen up and feel a bit better, you could blast it in 20, couldn't you? It all yeah, depends yeah. on how much you want to put in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's not an hour and a half of turmoil, is it? Being oh, feeling no. sick and sweating and stuff. No. It's not, but, no. But you would feel a lot stronger after it, though, wouldn't you? Oh, oh absolutely, yeah. mate. Absolutely. So, uh, for us. lower back. Um, let me just turn that off. Can you see me there, Al? Yeah. I've just got a flash up on my computer. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do a simple version. I'm going to do a simple version. Yeah, you've just so frozen, Al. Just frozen. Have I frozen? Yeah, I know what it is. Wait there, wait there. So, guys, we're going through uh, exercises five and six. Uh, once, the, once the camera has stopped uh, freezing on us, there are a lot of technical difficulties. But uh, before, while we're saying that, guys, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit more about Sweet Spot. So, I mentioned it on yesterday's show. Uh, this is going to be, for me, the golf social media app um, of the summer. It's going to give you the opportunity to look at drills, um, communicate with the golfers, uh, get betting tips, look at the latest scores absolutely everything in one place so i'll leave all the information for sweet spot down below if you do want to go and sign up it's absolutely free you can be one of the first people to download the app um so all the information is down below as well as the instagram and twitter handles all right jab exercise no, time, mate. so we're just going to put the legs like so so i'm just lying down similar to my hip for a start yeah I'm going to stretch my arms out. Now, I want a nice, big, straight line coming all across my arms, across my chest, going straight to my other fingertips, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm not just stretching the lower back. I'm getting off to that feeling of being pinned back again. All I'm going to do is just slowly drop the legs to one side. Can you see that all right, Al? Yeah, I love these. Just there. I'm dead slow. I'm not bouncing around. I'm not putting any strain on. Would you hold it on either side? Is that would you say that's any a good? Yeah, I'm I, I'm holding now because I can feel it releasing. When I say releasing, the both pair of the legs want to go to the floor without me coming. Okay. I'm staying where I am and I'm yeah, getting yeah. more of that. And then across. From there now, I'm gonna just pop up into an extension. So I'm just gonna. Just feel that in there. Feel the hip bones just slowly dropping into the floor. Mm. I'm not overextending. I'm not going mental. It's just what I've got in. And I can feel the hip bones going down into the floor so that I can get a bit more taller in the back. And then I'm just going to pop my knees up. And I'm going to put my bum into my heels like that. Stretch and push out. Again, you'll feel it releasing, won't you? Oh, Mass, I feel so much better after that. Now, I would I would do all them three, probably three times, mm -hmm. if it's a set. By the end of your third set, you'll be right up there. Okay? So here's up with the final exercise for today. Right. These, these are just something I've made up. It's I, I call it a mobility walk. Basically, it's... I use this a lot as warm-ups and I also use it, say if I'm going for a run or I'm going to play golf and I have five minutes and I want to cover um, maximum amount of muscles and joints that takes me five minutes, I would do these if, and nothing else. 
-hmm. if I've got five minutes. They're brilliant, okay? I'll show you why. So, we touched on these a few weeks ago, Al, but yeah, what yeah. I've done yeah. is I've just bought another side. Now, can you see all my body there? Can you see my toes? I can see all to your neck. Right, that's fine. You don't need to see my head. <laughs> right, okay. So, a toe touch is quite dangerous, and you're going to put uh, some strain on your lower back that you don't need to do. So, I'm not after a toe touch. I'm just going to hinge down and just see where I am. You see I'm nowhere near my toes there? Yeah. I've got about five inches, right? I'll do one set and then I'll show you where I am in a minute. So I've got five inches. I'm just going to drop the head so I get a bit of in the upper back and neck and hold. My knees are quite pinned back. Okay, and I'm just going to walk out onto the floor. Okay, can you see me? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to drop one knee and push one knee forward. So this this is stretch, this is a hip flexor stretch. I'm trying to stretch down here. Push this knee forward. If it's past the toe, your foot's not far enough forward. Okay. So I can okay. really feel a stretch here, Al. Okay, I'm going to put the left arm down. There. I'm going to pull a chain and I'm going to Open it up. Pull. Open it up. See how my shoulders are coming in and back out? Yeah, back loading up in the golf swing. Yeah, so I'm, now I'm working my T-spine and my shoulder as one. Now, if you want to make that harder, I know you've done this in me, can you use it with a band on that point there? Could you use a band? Of course you could. You could have a band here and you could have it attached to the knee. Drive it. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely do not need a band. <laughs> I probably don't either, to be fair. <laughs> uh, close, open, then I'm going to swap. Probably do six of them. Yeah. Back into my flexor stretch. And put the hand down. And don't just do that. If I do that, I'm not actually rotating from here, am I? No, you're just moving the shoulder. And if I go like that, where's my chest? Still down Still to yeah. I go like that. Where's my chest? Up to the sky. Yeah, correct. I've turned. Six of them. Then I'd literally just walk back and stand up. Right now, watch this out. This is this is no BS. This is just this is genuine. I've just done one rep. Yeah, mm -hmm. one. Yeah, yeah, toes now. Touch my toe. I've got five inches without doing this for three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dynamic, it's normal movement. It's the reason why you will be on the first tee, you don't do any warm up, and you don't hit a good drive until the 11th, and you go, oh my God, I wish I'd have done a warm up. I've I just done a warm up there in five minutes. Yeah. Well, Jan, they're, they're absolutely class. So just to make everybody clear, um, if you want to see in more detail, all the videos of them are up on your website, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, you're going to put the thing on your yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they are on. They are on. Perfect. Because uh, honestly, guys, we're, we're, we're only going to show you kind of a brief uh, kind of synopsis of it all right now and a glimpse into what you could be doing. But just spending not even 30, 40 minutes each day, every other day, twice a week, three times a week, it will have a massive impact on your golf game, massive impact just on your general life. You'll feel much better, better posture, better feelings. And that, that, there's no price for that, is it? It's, it's, it's no. so much better. Uh, it's not just that. There'll, there'll be loads of you out there now because you've realised how important golf fitness is and you'll be spending money on trainers, spending money on gyms. And this, if this isn't in your training programmes, then it needs to be because this is golf and this is how you are, will get better. I've had people come see me before who've seen people for golf and they found out some limitations, found out some shoulder injuries, injuries, and then with three three months later, they're squatting 150 kilograms, which is great, which does help golf. But un squatting 150 kilograms doesn't help golf if you can't put your shoulder in the right position. No. So you need to strip back, find out who you are as a golfer, sort them issues out, and then let your good TPI trainer or good conditioner, there's plenty now, there's so many out there that are, are, are so good, and have that journey together where you, you're just getting better for golf.
hundred percent. And I, I know you, you work closely with the coach as well, don't you? With, with most of your players. Yeah. Well, I have to, I have to, that's my golf knowledge is, 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 well, it's basic, but my golf knowledge uh, within the body is not basic. And I, I've had to learn that from plenty of good coaches. Well, Jan, thanks so much for those uh, six exercises. No problem, Alex. Anytime, mate. Um, and guys, we will be back next Tuesday with another round of exercises. But in the meantime, please don't go and check out the website and go and give those exercises a go. And if you're panicking about playing tomorrow and you've not done anything, just go and give them a go tonight because it might <laughs> just help you. <laughs> so, guys, thanks so much for watching uh, tonight's Golf Chat Show Live. I know I mentioned as we were going through the show before about uh, Sweet Spot. Honestly, it's going to be a fantastic app and all the information that you want to have for the app will be down below. So go and sign up, go and check it out because it's going to be the place for golf social media, for your tips, for online betting, for latest scores. For me, I'm proud to be an ambassador for them. Um, I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. It just cuts through all the noise everywhere else. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, we will be back tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be a great show because it is going to be the big golf quiz. Uh, I will put a post out on Instagram later this evening and on Twitter. Uh, it's going to be a good one. We're going to be on for half an hour as always, maybe a bit longer because we're going to be doing a quiz. But we're going to be putting uh, your golfing knowledge to the test. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the content, please do hit the subscribe button before you leave. See you soon.